Hi guys, I'm Smitha and welcome back to my channel where I talk about all things AI and machine learning related. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the top machine learning certifications that you guys should be looking at when you are learning machine learning and also which type of certifications would look best on your resume when you're applying for those machine learning roles. So let's get started. When we're looking at machine learning certifications, there are two different types that we need to acknowledge. There's a very general machine learning certification, and then there are specialized machine learning certifications. Both of them have their pros and cons, and I'm going to be covering both in this video. We're going to be looking at both specialized machine learning certifications and general machine learning certifications. When you're deciding between which certification is best for you, there are a lot of different factors to consider. You must consider what is the reason behind getting the certification. If you're planning on applying for roles and you know that the role that you're applying for you know, deals with, for example, Microsoft Azure, you would wanna get a Microsoft Azure related certification for ML. You wouldn't wanna go and get a certification made by AWS or Google instead. So these are also very important things to consider. And also you might want to consider what is the depth of knowledge of ML that you actually want to showcase to your employers. So depending on that, that is also very important as well. The very first certification that we're going to be looking at is the TensorFlow Developer Certification. With this certification, you're able to demonstrate that you know how to use TensorFlow, which is a very popular machine learning library and it's widely used in the industry. So if you're starting out, this is an excellent certification to have. Let's also go and take a look at how the test is and how much this certification cost, as well as more details. So in order to get this certification, you need to write a one hour long exam and this certification costs 100 US dollars. The great thing about this certification, personally, I feel is that the resources are very easily available online and there are a bunch of courses which are already on this website that you can take or there's also a lot of tutorials that you can follow along in order to prepare for this certification. When you guys complete this certification, you would have successfully learned some foundational principles of ML and deep learning. You should also know how to build ML models in TensorFlow, as well as building image recognition, object detection, text recognition uh, algorithms with deep neural networks and convolutional neural networks. You should also know how to use real world images in different shapes and sizes in order to visualize the journey of an image through different convolutional networks as well as exploring strategies to prevent overfitting, including augmentation and dropouts. So the interesting thing with this uh, TensorFlow certification, I feel is that it is very much uh, specific to image uh, recognition, so computer vision, and a little bit of natural language processing. Although TensorFlow is a more general based uh, machine learning library that you can use for different use cases, this certification highly focuses on computer vision. Once you register for the TensorFlow certification exam, you have about six months to actually take the exam. And when you're taking the exam, you have five hours to complete the entire exam. Although you have five hours, it usually takes about one to two hours to actually complete the exam. And once you have done that, it takes only 24 hours for it to get graded and then you will be given your certification. Once that is done, you can easily share this onto GitHub or LinkedIn, as well as putting it onto your resume so that this is more easily accessible than going and taking a test in person. Another really great thing is that with this certification, once you're done with it and you have achieved the certification, you will be automatically added to a pool of developers who have the certification so that if employers are reaching out to any developers within that pool, you will be included in that as well. The second certification, which I'm going to be covering is Google Cloud's Professional Machine Learning Engineering Certification. This certification is a lot more in depth than the TensorFlow certification, and it covers very different skills as well. So you should be able to know how to use Google Cloud's suite of products for ML and the professional ML certification here. In order to get that, you should know how to frame ML problems. You need to know how to architect ML solutions as well as design data preparation and processing systems as well, and also automating and orchestrating ML pipelines. This uh, is a more end-to-end -end certification than the previous TensorFlow certification. With the TensorFlow certification, you are basically 
testing your ability to use a machine learning library. But for this one, it's more end to end. You should know how to frame ML problems, develop ML solutions, automating and orchestrating ML pipelines, and also optimizing and maintaining machine learning solutions as well. In order to get the certification, it takes about two hours to complete the exam and the registration fee for the certification is 200 US dollars. The entire certification is either in multiple choice or multiple select. And you can also renew or maintain your certification because these Google Cloud certifications, they are only valid for two years. So if you look at Google Cloud's product and if you look under AI and ML, you should, when you're applying for this certification, you should actually know how to use quite a lot of these different uh, Google Cloud products already. For example, Vertex AI, as well as natural language AI products, as well as using Google Cloud in order to deploy ML models. So these are important skills that you should know uh, in order to apply for this certification. The third certification we will be looking at is by Microsoft and it's called the Microsoft Certified Azure Data Scientist Associate. And although this is called the Azure Data Scientist Associate, this certification is very much related to ML. Let's look at some of the skills which are actually measured within this certification. So managing Azure resources for ML, running experiments and training models, deploying and oper operationalizing machine learning solutions, implementing responsible ML. So regarding all of these certifications, like the Google certification previously, as well as this one, all of these certifications are catered towards this, com this tech company's suite of products for ML. So the Google certification is catered around Google Cloud and with Microsoft is catered around Microsoft Azure. So depending on the type of machine learning role that you're applying for and the type of company that you're applying for, look at what type of resources they use. If they're making use of Google Cloud, then go for the Google Cloud certification. If they're making use of Microsoft Azure, go with this because that will best suit your resume as well as it will really help you in your career as well. Like the previous certification, they also have a bunch of learning resources as well. So right here, you know, creating machine learning models, Microsoft Azure AI fundamentals, exploring visual tools for ML, building and operating machine learning solutions with Azure machine learning, as well as building and operating ML uh, solutions with Azure Databricks. So there's a lot of resources already available for this uh, program and this exam cost 165 US dollars in the United States and depending on your country the price can vary. And last but not least we will be looking at the AWS certified machine learning certification. This certification is a specialty which is offered by AWS. Let's take a look at who should take this exam. Someone with at least two years of hands-on experience developing, architecting and running ML or deep learning workloads in the AWS cloud, ability to express the intuition behind basic machine learning algorithms, so understanding the math behind it, etc. Also experience performing basic hyperparameter optimization, experience with ML and deep learning frameworks, ability to follow model training, deployment and operational best practices. So there are some basics and obviously having some experience, like for example, two years of experience, which they are recommending that you should in order to have an understanding of how to use AWS cloud, have an understanding of how to deploy models on AWS, etc. So it definitely is a more advanced certification and the length of time required to complete the exam is three hours. So it's a pretty lengthy exam and it costs about 300 US dollars for this certification. AWS also has a pretty extensive exam guide for this certification, which you guys can take a look at. I'll be leaving all of the certification links in the description box below so you guys can check it out. And essentially it is testing four different domains of ML. The first domain is data engineering. Second is exploratory data analysis. Third is modeling and fourth is machine learning implementation and operations. So although data engineering is of course an entirely different role from a machine learning engineer, but there's a lot of overlap between these two types of roles. And as an ML engineer, it's also important that you know a lot of data engineering best practices because you will definitely be using that in your day-to-day -day 
So for example, using AWS Kinesis or AWS EMR, these are different AWS tools which are specific to data engineering. And it's important that if you're applying for this certification, you know how to use those tools. So in the next domain of exploratory data analysis, they are looking at you know, sanitizing and preparing data for modeling. Obviously in the date, sanitizing is similar to cleaning data for modeling, uh, knowing how to perform feature engineering, analyzing and visualizing data for machine learning in different histograms, time series, scatter plots, and various other diagrams. Uh, the third domain is modeling. So framing business problems as machine learning problems and knowing and selecting the appropriate models for a given machine learning problem. So you should know a lot of these very popular ML models, for example, XGBoost, logistic regression, K-means, linear regression, decision trees, random forest, and many, many more. So these are some very basic ML uh, algorithms which you should already know and you should know when to use them and which data is best suited for which algorithm. You should also know how to train ML models and also choosing the different compute choices. So GPU versus CPU, distributed versus non-distributed, as well as platforms. So Spark versus non-Spark. It's okay if you don't know a lot of these things right off the bat, but when you are preparing for this certification, it's important that you consider all of these uh, things because these will be tested in the exam. So you should know what these are by the time you are actually taking the exam. So guys, those were four different, very different machine learning certifications within the ML space. The three which are centered around Google Cloud, AWS, and Microsoft Azure are catering towards their cloud services. So it's important that you make the right decision when you're picking between these three, because obviously you want to make the best use of this certification. You can go ahead and get multiple of them, but it definitely makes sense to get the certification which is best suited for you and also the certification in the resource that you plan on using in the future. So if you plan on working with Google Cloud, go ahead and get the Google Cloud certification. And regarding the TensorFlow certification, that's just a general certification, which is good to have because TensorFlow, as I was saying, is a very popular machine learning library. And regardless if you're using AWS or Microsoft Azure, you would still might be using TensorFlow anyway for models. So it's important that you also know how to make use of TensorFlow as well. So guys, I hope this video was helpful and let me know what you guys thought about this in the comment section below. All of the links to all of the certifications will be in the description box below so you guys can check it out. Thank you guys for watching and see you in my next video.